What's going on, Sports Wars? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and GeeksandGamers.com, and what an absolute surprise, a shock to find out that Gwen Berry, the third place United States hammer thrower who decided to protest the national anthem because I just can't support a country with ties to racism like this that's rooted, that was founded in racism. Is it really a surprise to find out that Gwen Berry, this person here, disrespecting the anthem, disrespecting the flag, disrespecting this country and everyone that inhabits it, is it really a surprise to find out that she has a history of racist comments, of racial stereotypes, of racial jokes, very insensitive Gwen Berry? No, it shouldn't be a surprise because the people who are claiming that the United States is a racist country who want to use this platform to try to perpetuate that narrative that want to say that, oh, well, they're just not respecting my people. It's never a surprise to find out that these people are really the ones with a past, with things in their closet, with these racial comments. They are absolute hypocrites. Stomp him. Olympic athlete turning back on flag has history of racist tweets against white people, Asians, Mexicans, and made rape jokes. Now, nah, it's not really a surprise. This is Gwen Berry, uh, this lovely woman right here. And I said it the other day, uh, these people who this is Gwen Berry like 10 years ago, holding a flag, very proud to represent the United States of America. As soon as these people find out that maybe they're not the top athlete, that they have a better chance chance of making more money or being more relevant as a victim than they ever will as an athlete. This is what happens. They go from, I love this country, I love America, to, oh, I'm so oppressed, my people have been oppressed, this is so racist. Just like Colin Kaepernick, when he's wishing everybody a happy 4th of July, to, oh, by the way, I can't celebrate 4th of July because this country is blank. These people are all the same. These people just want to use this platform to play victim. Let's take a look at Gwen Berry's history, right? Let's look at this. And no one, no one would even be looking for this. No one would even have a fucking problem with a lot of this stuff if she hadn't decided to say that, oh, well, America hates my people. America was founded on this. She is a disgusting human being. Let's see what she's said, huh? Gwen Berry. These are all still active on her account, by the way. She hasn't deleted these. This little white boy being bad as hell. I would smack his ass, then stomp him. Shaking my head. Hashtag white people kids. Hella disrespectful. Okay. What else? Basketball wives is proof that white people run they got damn mouths. Too much and they nosy as hell and they start drama. By the way, crazy talk, black, and then probably bitches. Gwen Berry, white people are so, uh, I don't know if I can say this word on YouTube, R word, when they are drunk, uh, which is stupid that we can't say that word on YouTube, in class, and mugs calling people out. Haha, <laughs> white people crazy. Uh, Julie from BGC got a nice ass body for a white girl. These white children freaking themselves out in this DQ line. Man, that, that's crazy. Gwen Berry has a history of tweets based on race. Insults based on race, but it's not just white people, of course. Uh, a quote, Mexicans just don't care about people. What else does she say? Just saw this girl wearing heels with white socks. What the hell? Hashtag Chinese people. Always trying to start new trends. Shake them ahead, girl. Man, Gwen Berry, it, it turns out that the person who's crying racism, man, if she went through, if you went through my tweets and saw all these things except referencing black people, I bet Gwen Berry would have some things to say about me, wouldn't she? These people are all hypocrites. They are disgusting individuals that want to use their race to play victim, that want to say that America is this and America is that, when in reality, they are the ones that have things to be embarrassed about. We're not even going to get to the other stuff uh, because w whatever. But this is Gwen Berry. This is who she is. Uh, and she even said she's doubled down on this protest. When asked if she would protest on the world stage, she says, we'll see. You know, it just depends. It depends. You know, everything is spur of the moment. It depends on how I'm feeling and depends on what I want to do in that moment and what I want to do for my people in that moment. And I will do whatever comes upon me, whatever it is in my heart. When she says my people, I think we all understand what she's talking about. This is, 
disgusting. Gwyn Berry is a joke. Gwyn, Gwyn Berry uh, should not be representing the United States of America in any way, shape, or form, but uh, we are where we are. Shout out to these individuals who aren't getting enough respect for being first and second in the United States and actually respecting this country, this anthem, and this flag. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.